Now let's talk about snapping. Uh, when you move your cursor near objects, you'll see they tend to stick or uh, snap to the objects. Uh, this is the snapping feature. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, there is a snapping palette located uh, usually right under the attributes palette. Uh, this gives you quick access to turn on and off these different snap features, which we're about to go into. By default, uh, the following snaps are, are enabled. Uh, you have uh, snap to object, angle, intersection, and smart points. Uh, let's start with snap to object. Uh, this is pretty much the base for all snap options, um, other than the snap to grid. Snap to object essentially allows you to snap to other objects in the file. As you move your cursor over top of objects, you will notice uh, smart cursor cues. These are little, uh, basically, text cues that indicate that you're over top of a snap point. For example, uh, if I move my cursor over this rectangle here, um, as I go over the top uh, left corner, it'll show top left. If I go towards the middle, you'll see top center. Um, when I'm on the edge of an object, it'll actually just show me object. This is just indicating that I'm snapped to the edge of the object. If I then click and hold to move the object, and then I move it over towards this uh, polygon, for example. As I get close to the edge of it, you'll see it snaps to that edge. Um, and then as I move down, I will get additional smart cursor cues indicating what point I'm snapping to. So for instance, I'm gonna snap to this end point of the, of the polygon. When using the snap functions to move and align objects, uh, you can be assured that that point, is, that essentially the upper left vertice of that rectangle is in the exact same position as the, uh, the, the end point of the polygon I snapped it to. Uh, now let's take a look at snap to angle. Uh, snap to angle gives you essentially snaps at set angles. Uh, zero degrees will give you a, a horizontal smart cursor cue. Uh, 90 degrees will give you a vertical cue. Then you will see snaps at 30 and 45 degrees. So now let's uh, talk about snap to intersection. Uh, this essentially creates snap points at uh, the intersection of uh, two lines or objects. Uh, so for example, here I have uh, two lines. Um, you'll see there's no snapping in between the midpoint and the endpoint normally on this line. Um, but if the two objects intersect, there'll be a snap point created at that intersection point. Now you may have also noticed that as I've moved over certain snap points, if I uh, stayed there for any period of time, a small red rectangle would have appeared. Uh, this is a smart point. These points essentially allow you to create temporary guidelines between the set points. Uh, you can create up to three smart points at a time, um, and then you can essentially snap to the intersection of these points, as well as get mid and end snap points in between them. To edit or adjust any of these uh, particular settings of the snap options, uh, you want to go to the tools menu and then go down to smart cursor settings. The first time you go to smart cursor settings, uh, you'll notice a pop up. This is letting us know that if you use the back quote key, which is uh, usually to the left of the one key on your keyboard, uh, you can hold this key down to temporarily disable all snapping features. Uh, this can sometimes be uh, useful if you're trying to uh, position an object very close to another snap point. Uh, this is much easier than disabling a snap. But as you can see here in the Smart Cursor Settings uh, dialog, there's various options for all the different snap types. Um, you can adjust these settings. If you want to uh, go into snapping a little bit further, please check out some of our further exploration videos. Coming up in the uh, next video, we're going to go into uh, tool and command interaction.